When it comes to the Grand Theft Auto series, there are three things that hook me up. The satirical story that shows the realities of our society through the times, the idea of making money that I know I'll never be able to achieve, please help me, and the chaotic nature the game allows you to have. Let's face it, when we play GTA, we play it either to dive into the story or to simply have fun seeing what shenanigans can we pull out of it. And that comes with its own set of web series that have come out of it, with my personal favorite being Rage Cup by Neves Gaming. Now, I am fully aware of the other series created by the Neves Gaming thing, and trust me, I will talk about it at a later time. But this series, I mean, where do I even start? Alright, to get context of what this is, it's a web series based on the police mod for GTA 5's PC version. A mod that most people wish it became a reality to the point where it gives clickbait scumbags a chance to make a living out of that pure wish. But this series proves the amount of craziness that could be pulled off from a feature that allows you to pretty much do whatever without even a sense of repercussion in the game's mechanics. Because the thing is, when you play GTA for the chaos, the point is that your actions will cause the police to hunt you down, but when you cut that element of the game since you're now the cop, while I'm sure Rockstar will have made it work, I still think it's something that goes against the principles of the series. There's a reason why LA Noir doesn't have Cole Phelps shooting people at random or running over them. Oh, and me God. Phelps. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Jesus. Holy and my car crap. is still fine. <laughs> Never mind. Also, we'll talk about them later too. However, this, oh my god, this is this is another level, guys. Like, reviewing a comedy series is difficult, because a sense of humor is probably one of the most subjective elements you can sell to people. But one thing I can give credit to this as to why Rage Cow was very good was due to the over-the-top nature of it all. And I say was in a hopeful way since I haven't heard of any official cancellation, which I know is me wishing for this to continue, but anywho. When I say over the top nature, I mean that there's such an insane nature of it to the point where you just know it's a character in a world that lets him almost get away with anything and do whatever. Not to mention that the world itself is set to just blend with this insanity. There's no point where you feel like the world of Rage Cub actually ends up in pain because of his antics. Hell, there are multiple times where he will just cause tremendous mayhem only for the police to just be cool with it and move on to the next thing. So, in a weird way, I can see Rage Cop working in the same way Trevor fits in the world of GTA on its own. And I feel that's the magic of this show. It matches that super exaggerated thing of what GTA is about, both as a viewer of the story and the chaotic world the players know how to pull off. So in that regard, I can also give a lot of credit to Astro's performance. The stuff that comes out of this dude's mouth is just incredible and quotable. I always go after the lower class slob. My name is Rage Cop, and I fucking love my job. Hey there, Bubba. Hey, you mind if I borrow your tractor? I like drinking beer and shooting shotguns. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Wow, did you give me the finger? Nobody gives me the finger. Oh, you're dead now! Cute little roadblock! You gotta try harder than that, you son of a mule! But I don't do this job for the money. I do it because I enjoy killing minorities. And while I wish there were more episodes out of the 17 that were made, the ride has been so fun and creative that I can still recommend it for what it is at the time of this review. Because on a personal level, it's not the violent elements what makes Rage Cup fun to watch for me. If I wanted that kind of content, I can just store my PS4 and do that for 5 minutes and call it a day. It's the character's trigger happy added to what makes this actually fun to watch. I'm not laughing at Officer Astro tossing a grenade and killing civilians, I'm laughing at Officer Astro going nuts because a firefighter gave him the finger. That clip is probably the one that represents the area of the show the most. From him having crazy adventures during his time being transferred, to him going back in time to San Andreas, to even go into the Mad Max world, having Christmas. Oh, guys, I haven't laughed as hard from a YouTube video as I did watching his Pokemon Go episode in a very long time. But that's probably my major difference from your average viewer of GTA content. I don't remember the episodes based on the kill counts or hitman methods. I remember them for their short stories and jokes before he starts killing folks. And as my description so far may easily tell you, no, I don't think anybody can just go and watch this. It goes a little too far with some of his satire, even if it's self-aware in that regard. I can easily see people taking some of the jokes very seriously and being heavily offended by it. I'll tell you more about it, but you might get offended! 
Are you not like a college whore? What did the PC turn for queer? If you are capable of separate comedy from reality, as well as be open for a darker humor that fits the tone of the GTA series, or you know what, just for that simplicity, if you're into the humor of GTA, then yeah, give this a watch. But just remember... No!